The most common type of relationship in an access database is a one-to-many relationship. For example, one customer can have many orders. To create a relationship, select the Relationship command, which is found in the Database Tools tab within the Show Hide group. When selected, if this is the first relationship that is being created for this database, the Show Table dialog box opens and allows you to select the tables that you want to add for this relationship. For this example, I'll add the Customers table by clicking on it once and selecting Add at the bottom of the dialog box, or you can double-click on Customers. The next table that I'll add is the Orders table, again by clicking on it once and selecting Add at the bottom of the dialog box, or double-clicking on Orders. Although it doesn't look like anything is happening, the tables have been added behind the Show Table dialog box. Once you have the tables you need, you can close the Show Table dialog box by selecting the Close command. A relationship is based on a common field between two tables. In this example, each customer has a unique ID, and the Customer ID field is also found in the Orders table. The common fields are not required to have the same name, but they must have the same data type. To create a one-to-many relationship, you need to use the primary key field from the one table, in this example, Customer ID, in the Customer table, and drag it to the related field in the Many table, in this example, Customer ID, in the Orders table. Doing this opens the Edit Relationships dialog box. Here you'll see the ID field from the Customers table listed on the left, and the Customer ID field for the related table listed on the right. To create the one-to-many relationship, select the Create button on the right side of the dialog box. The relationship is the line displayed between the two tables in the Relationship window.